Today I'm going to be walking through how you can use audio notes to write your project proposals so that you don't have to do any typing. Basically, you're going to use the Whisper audio integration to record your voice note and then use the AI assistant to structure this into a nice proposal. So you can see an example of one of mine here from an agency called Startup Cookie that I run. Now, let's first dive into the custom prompt that I'm using to organize this because it's a little interesting to see what's happening here so that you'll know how to instruct it to organize your own. So if I look at this here, I've instructed it to act like it's a marketing agency writing your proposal. And it's going to want to format the text into an organized proposal uh, with the outline below. So all this text down here is the outline. Now I've instructed it to treat text that's in the parentheses like this, uh, if I can highlight that here, as instructional text. And what that's going to do is allow me to put in variable information. So there's certain information that I know I'm going to want in every single proposal, and I can just write that into the prompt directly. But then there's also going to be information that, of course, is custom to the unique proposal. That's what's going to come from the voice note. So I can put anything in parentheses here, and it will take information from that voice note to customize it. And then finally, I give it some instruction around headers because I do want to organize exactly how I want. So I've instructed it how to treat, you know, H1, H2, H3. Um, and what else? I asked it a couple things here, um, not to include any of the labels that are in the square brackets because it would sometimes do that. Uh, when I first started running it, it would oftentimes paraphrase and include kind of weird things. So I gave a couple instructions there. You will have to tweak this a couple times, but I promise once you do actually go through a little bit of effort of tweaking it, then it's really, really magical. So looking through the structure here. Now I've got the H1 title here and I've set it to replace it with the client name. And then we have a summary section. That's one to three paragraphs on the strategy, including the examples where relevant, um, target audiences, if I mention them. Then I usually have a building and testing section. And again, this is all very specific to my agency. So yours is going to look very different, but you, I want to show you this just so that you can kind of uh, see how it's outlining that. And then under the building and testing, we've got a couple lists here with bold text and whatnot. So this all looks funky in here. But if we go back to the actual proposal, this is exactly what I've replaced the AI text with, which I'll show you here in a second. But you can see that it adds these nice headers. Um, it bolds and italicizes the text, puts it into a numbered list. So it may look weird in the AI prompt, but it's going to appear really nice here. And the other nice thing is that you can write out your format like this and then copy it into the AI prompt. And what that is going to do is put all of this in here. So I am not that familiar with, you know, HTML or Markdown or uh, any formatting and whatnot. This was all done for me, which is very, very nice. So take an existing proposal, paste it into the AI prompt, and then go through like I did and put in the variable information. So that's the prompt information. Um, I'll try to figure out the best way to include a sample custom prompt. So I think I'll probably strip this down and include this so that you can copy it if you want, just to kind of get the header information and whatnot. But let's actually take through an example here. So I have a client, Better Home Marketing. Um, it's just a marketing service for real estate agents. Pretty simple. So let me take a quick voice memo and do a proposal for them. And I will warn you, I usually, I actually tracked these for the last few. My voice notes usually are around five minutes long for these proposals. I'm not going to make you sit through that. I'll do a very shortened one for this and I will still kind of uh, use that to show you how it will organize this. But I'll go kind of go through here and uh, go through each of the sections. So. Let's take it away. This is a proposal to work with the client Better Home Marketing with Startup Cookie. For the summary section, we are going to create content for them that basically looks like marketing templates for real estate agents. So templates for things like social media posts, email designs, uh, website templates, things like that, that they can then copy and use for free in their own marketing. We're going to take those templates and then we're going to reach out to the real estate agents with outbound email, say, hey, we've got this collection of marketing templates you can use for free. 
By the way, if you're ever looking for someone to really take over all of your marketing so that you can focus on selling, we're here and can take care of that for you. So the target audiences will primarily be real estate agents in high income housing markets like Boulder, Colorado, San Francisco, New York City. Uh, might also be worth testing uh, brokerage owners. So owners of firms, maybe they'll share it with all of their real estate agents and they'll be able to build an outbound email channel while building a long-term inbound content channel. Okay. So I'll let that run and I'll come back here um, in probably 30 seconds or a minute once it's finished running. All right, so here's my audio memo. And if you haven't used Whisper, this is exactly what my voice note was word for word. That's why Whisper is so magical. Um, now let's kind of take this here and I'm gonna select that text. I'm gonna pull up the AI editor and I'm gonna type in startup cookie for my project proposal prompt and it's gonna start running. Um, so here you can see it got the title, um, then it's got the summary section here, and it's basically just including the summary text um, of kind of what I first said here, and then down below it's going through and breaking it up into the different targets that I mentioned. And now this section is just the text that I had in before. So that's kind of the beauty of it. This part stays the same for all of the projects. but. Um, Depending on how long your proposal is, this might take, you know, I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute. Um, most proposals hopefully won't be that long if you're trying to catch someone's attention. But, you know, if I wanted to, I could also just run this custom part on uh, only the sections that I'm going to customize here. And then I could just paste them. I don't technically have to run it on this whole thing. But I do think that it's really nice when I click replace and it's just all there beautifully for me. So. Let me do that. I'm going to click replace. And now we have this great proposal here. So um, again, you can kind of go forward and tweak any of the formatting that you want. But usually what I do is I'm then going to copy this uh, and then I'll just create a new note and I'll paste it in. And here now I have this project proposal and it's ready to go that I have in my notes. And by the way, this also copies very well into Google Docs. So um, I have actually been sharing proposals through Reflect because I think they look really nice, uh, much better than a Google document. And uh, I'm not really wanting people to comment in the doc. It's something that I share ahead of a call. But if you wanted to, you could also copy this into a Google document, a Notion page, um, copy the individual components into a presentation, pretty much whatever you want. So. Uh, give this a try. Use your existing proposals. Um, just to kind of summarize the step, you'll want to go in and create a custom prompt. So maybe choose one of the system prompts, like write a blog post that's going to be pretty similar. Then you're going to want to clone it. And after that, I think you should just, you know, paste in your existing proposal here and then strip it out in the editor. And that will kind of give you the template. Run it a few times on the... Uh, a sample prompt, kind of see where you need to fix the editing and just do a couple tweaks. And before long, you'll have your perfectly optimized proposal ready to go. But if you're someone that uses uh, proposals, whether you're an agency, a consultant, um, a team lead, or, you know, just something you do regularly in your company, doing this via voice note has stripped out the vast majority of the time it takes to do these. I can just take a walk outside, take a voice note, walk around my office, and my proposal's done. Pretty wonderful.